welcome to Sugar, Salt and Spice Darknet. This is Sharada Ganesh and in this episode I am going to bring to you spicy Kerala mixture. In fact, Trishur mixture. Now, today I am going to show you a very very traditional style of mixture with minimal ingredients and how it used to be made in the olden times, at least by my grandmother in our family. A mixture is a perfect mix of bundi, chickpea roundels, omapudi, chickpea sticks, roasted bengal gram, peanuts and curry leaves. That's it. And then spice it up. So let's check out the ingredients quickly. Half cup of chickpea flour, half tablespoon rice flour, another half cup of chickpea flour and half tablespoon rice flour. Now I have divided them into two equal parts of chickpea flour and rice flour because one set of chickpea flour and rice flour is for omapudi and one set is for bundi. Um, this is quarter cup of roasted bengal gram, quarter cup of peanuts, two sprigs of curry leaves, be generous with your curry leaves. Um, this is one teaspoon of red chili powder but I might not use it in entirety. It's totally up to our spice levels. Asafoetida, again to your taste. Turmeric powder, salt, water for making the batter and the dough and coconut oil for deep frying. So I've used coconut oil, you can use any refined oil, canola oil for deep frying but coconut oil gives you that trishur flavor to, to the mixture. So first quarter cup of chickpea flour sorry half cup of chickpea flour and half tablespoon rice flour some water now we are not going to add any spices at this point maybe just a little bit of salt namesake that's it see very little that's it because we are going to add everything in the end now mix up all the dry ingredients quickly now add water little by little because we don't want any lumps so adding water little by little prevents lump formation so this is the correct consistency actually there is one ingredient that I forgot to add when I was making the batter that's turmeric powder gives your mixture a good color so little bit of turmeric powder Maybe quarter teaspoon or less than that. Let's give it a good mix. That's it. Now just to show you the consistency, exactly like a dosa batter. That's it. It, it gives you a straight string when you pour it. So the bundi batter is ready, keeping it aside. Next, omopudi dough. It's not going to be a batter, it's going to be a dough. So again, half cup of chickpea flour. Half tablespoon of rice flour, namesake very little salt and a little bit of turmeric powder. I'm going to use my hands, mix it up. Now this batter is going to be, sorry, this dough is going to be like chapati dough. Not very hard but slightly looser than chapati dough but that's going to be it. I'll show it to you once it's done. Adding water little by little. So this is the omopudi dough. Slightly sticky but that's given um, this is what I want. So the batter for bundi and the dough for omopudi is ready. There are some instruments that we need here. Now this is the press and this is the disc that I'm going to be using for omopudi. So and this is a steel ladle with holes, um, just right for making bundi. I'll show you how it's done. Um, that's it. I'm going to fill the press with the dough and off we go to fry our mixture. So my coconut oil is nice and hot. Um, I've tried, I've tested it. So I'm going to begin with omopudi in my press. So be very careful with omopudi, it just needs a minute to burn. So be very quick 
I'm taking it out. It cooks really fast. So I'm going to use a fork and turn it so that the other side cooks too. So all the bubble and sizzle is gone. My omopodi is done. That's it. It hardly takes a minute. Cook both sides and done. So omopodi is done. I just had two batches. Next, the oil is ready for bundi. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a spoonful of the batter and then keep my steel spoon close to oil and then move the spoon along with the batter so can you see crumbles have started falling now please keep your steel spoon moving or else you will have one big clutter of batter which you don't want so keep moving do not overcrowd the oil because they will stick together and that's not what you want Now this looks like done to me and I am going to take it out. You see the roundels that have come? Yeah, that's what we want. So done. I am going to fry the roasted Bengal ground. Be quick. This can also easily burn. We don't want it to burn. Just quickly deep fry and take it out. That's it. Not even a minute. So just finished roasted Bengal gram. I'm going to add the peanuts. These are raw peanuts, so they'll take probably a minute to cook. Once they are done, we are going to take it out. Two sprigs of curry leaves in one shot. That's it. First step, take the omopodi, add it in your mixing bowl. and crush it with your hands don't make it into a fine powder just rough crush so that you get average sized sticks that's it. so next is bundi sometimes they can lump up if you can't avoid it just break them with your hands that's it now, before you mix the bundi make sure they are lump free and add the bundi that's it Next, we have the roasted Bengal gram peanuts. I don't go through the hassle of removing the skin of peanuts. I just keep the skin on. Add this. Curry leaves, maybe roughly crush. That's it. Now, next step is going to be add a chili powder. Now, this is up to your preference personal preference i'm going to start with half teaspoon first and i'll see how it is now asafoetida according to my grandma is what gives all the flavor so almost quarter to half teaspoon of asafoetida last but not least the most important ingredient salt half teaspoon i'm going to taste it and then correct it I'm going to use the hands, mix it up, so I have a feeling I can add a little more of chilli powder, so very little chilli powder, that's it, so this is the total quantity that I got from the measures I mentioned, um, quite a bit, I want to taste it. As usual, you know, this is my favorite. So, please do try this out. Diwali is around the corner. Great snack for Diwali. Let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. So, please try watching my channel.